one of the things that happens at the moment is you get you let yourself get put into a box. You let yourself get put into a team, onto a side, red, blue, progressive, conservative, all of that rubbish. And it happens a lot through the mainstream media, happens a lot through social media, just the way things happen at the moment. Yeah, and you, you do that to other people. You put other people in boxes based on what you see them do or what you see them say or how you see them act or what their background is. A lot of ex-military folk, for example, get put into the conservative box. I mean, it's all conservative or right-wing um, and incorrectly in many, many occasions. And myself, myself, I'm, you know, I'm uh, ex-military, but I regard myself as sort of right, uh, left to centre, slightly more progressive than, 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 uh, than the right. Um, but again, I don't, like the, I don't like to categorise myself like that. Because what happens is when you put yourself into a box, especially these days, and especially with the social media, um, it almost seems like a crime for you to listen to someone's point of view who isn't of your point of view. Again, the platforming thing. Oh, you shouldn't give that person the platform, for example. Don't listen to that because it doesn't align with your point of view. The problem is there is you restrict yourself from the information you get in. And you don't allow yourself to develop your ideas and have a better understanding of why you think what you do. And more importantly, sometimes you're not always going to be right. And so you want, without presenting yourself new information, that maybe goes against what you think. You're always going to be wrong. You know, or you're not going to have as informed opinions you could do. Or you're not going to understand why the opposite side thinks the way they do. And you don't want to be doing that because it makes you ignorant. It makes you completely ignorant about what's going on. Again, so I, I try and do that myself. I don't like to be put in a box. I try and listen to other people's point of view. And, and it change, sometimes it changes my mind about what I think. And that's, that can be a bit of pill to swallow. Because it means you were wrong at the time. I've had, uh, you know, I've had conversation to pass. I spoke to um, Mitt Cheesy as an example, and I think we would. Well, I know we were talking about proteins, and I claimed that you can't have, you can't get all the proteins you can from a plant-based diet. And that's what I believed at the time. And since that's wrong, that's incorrect in that statement that I said. It's completely incorrect. And but without listening and absorbing what the opposite side has to say or articles and information that don't align with what I think. Without having to have looked at those, I wouldn't now be in that sort of more knowledgeable position. And it goes with everything. Really important. Don't put yourself in the box. It's okay to change your mind. It's okay to look at information that, uh, that may seem like frightening to you because it doesn't align with your beliefs, especially when everyone's so um, not over the top. Everyone appears so emotionally engaged in what they believe these days that they, they don't want to change their mind because they're part of a camp, they're part of a team. Expose yourself to new information. Change your mind if you need to. Hold a new opinion if you need to. If you don't, you're not gonna you're not gonna you're not gonna expand as an individual, you're not gonna grow as an individual mentally. And uh, and ultimately you could get to five, ten, fifteen, twenty years down down the road and realise, oh man, I've been wrong for the last two decades. As I have been. Not for two decades though. Yeah. It's alright to change your mind. Don't let yourself be put in a camp. It's absolute rubbish. We weren't like it wasn't like this before. You know, you can have a different opinion to someone else, still hold a conversation with them. Which is the reality in real life. You engage with people constantly on a daily basis, with people who don't have the same opinions as you. You just don't realise it because you're not talking about it. And yet on social media, you will completely cut someone off or cut people off, a team of people, cut uh, cut organisations and communities out because they represent or believe in a different thing to you. You don't know those people. You don't know them. Who are you to accuse them of being X, Y, or Z because of, um, because of a background they've got or because of a country they come from or because of a, a job they do? Don't let yourself be boxed in. Open your mind to other ideas. Accept other people's opinions and learn from it. The more information you expose to yourself, that you expose yourself to, the more knowledgeable you're going to be and the more informed about your own opinion as an idea as you're going to be.